The Dave Canales era is starting here in Carolina. What is going on everybody? I hope you guys are all having a great day. Today I am here in Madden 24 starting a brand new franchise using the Carolina Panthers with their new head coach Dave Canales. So this is going to be like a full series type thing. It's not just going to be like a one episode rebuild type thing. It's going to be a full series. I'm going to go a couple seasons. Don't know how many. I'm going to try and win some Super Bowls. Basically just the regular rebuild series that I'm going to be starting here today. And so if you guys have seen my realistic rebuild of the Arizona Cardinals in the first episode, episode zero, I did detail some rules for like how I do that rebuild. So this one is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be like a strict realistic one. However, I'm going to take most realism into account and not just trade 50 first round picks for like a backup left tackle, something like that, you know, like I am going to be semi-realistic. However, I'm still going to make, you know, moves that may not be considered realistic. So yeah, with all that being said, you know, we're just going to take a quick look at the roster before, you know, we get into the offseason and everything because that's what we are starting off with. So just looking at the offense, it is currently a 75 overall. You know, we have a lot of work to do on the offense and this is definitely going to take some additions through free agency and, you know, most notably the draft as we try our best to build around number one overall pick from last year, Bryce Young. Now checking out the defense. So this defense is an 83 overall, so it is definitely a solid overall to be at, you know, most notably headlined by Brian Burns, who also is a free agent this upcoming offseason. So we're going to have to try and, well, not upcoming offseason, like the next couple of weeks, like, you know, because we're about to get in the offseason. And anyways, that's besides the point. You know, we're going to try to re-sign him. And, you know, besides Brian Burns, we definitely do have some solid players around here. You know, Derek Brown, very solid. J.C. Horn, solid as well. And there's definitely some playmakers here on this defense. But, you know, there's definitely still some work to be done as we are only a 78 overall. So, um, yeah, with that being said, we're going to move forward into the player re-signs. And oh, also, just a quick note. So I did give myself the Bucks playbook just because Dave Canales was the Buccaneers offensive coordinator. So, you know, I figured, you know, just bring his playbook along. So, yeah, that's I just figured I'd let you guys know. I figured first, you know, we'll go through retirements really quick. So, you know, we can see Harrison Smith. He retires. Ryan, Ryan, I can't even, not, I can't even talk. Ryan Tannehill also retires. Patrick Peterson, Jason Peters. Jeez, he was in the league for 20 years. Wow. Bobby Wagner retired. Jimmy Graham retired. Cameron Jordan. Wow. Um, let's see who else. Brian Hoyer, the GOAT, retired. That is very unfortunate. Who else? Um, yeah, just kind of skimming through. Aaron Rodgers retired. Wow. So I guess we won't see him suiting up for the Jets. Randall Cobb, his buddy, also retires. Calais Campbell retires. Julio Jones. Jason Kelsey retires. Who also just retired in real life, like, a day or two ago so yeah um you know matt prater he also retired joe flacco retired russell wilson retired it's gonna skim through the rest of them okay that is all the retirees now let's move on to player resigns all right so we do have 68 million dollars in cap space to work with first things first i'm gonna start off by accepting jc horn's fifth year option obviously we're gonna do that but yeah, we're gonna see if we can re-sign guys like Brian Burns. It says he has pretty high interest. 15 million a year for Brian Burns. That's it. Absolutely. I'll just throw in a little little extra just to be sure he accepts. Okay, he accepts. So we get Brian Burns back. It's phenomenal. I'm gonna look through everyone else really quick. We we're gonna want to re-sign Frankie Louvu. Seven million a year, that's fair, but he has pretty low interest. So if I offer just like Okay, well, that's unfortunate. He's going to go free agency, is what it is. You know what? I'm going to give Jeremy Chin an offer. He has pretty low interest, but I really do like Jeremy Chin. So, could I get him at this? Okay, so we do re sign Jeremy Chin. Deion Jones, he is pretty old and he's wanting a lot of money. You know what? I'm going to let Deion Jones walk. Um, maybe we can pick someone else up in the draft. How much does the franchise take for? Oh my gosh. Yep, yeah, that's not going to happen. 
But outside of those guys, I'm not going to be re-signing everyone else or anybody else, I mean, and move on to free agency and see who's available. All right, so just entering free agency now, there's definitely some notable names here. Just looking at first glance, you know, we do have just under $50 million in cap space to work with. You know, I'm not going to spend it all this offseason, of course, because, you know, this is definitely a process, so we can't just blow all the money right now. But I'm just going to look through some free agents here and then decide who I want to go after. All right, so I figured I would just run through this really quick. So we restructured Taylor Morton, and then we released a bunch of people. So, yeah, we cleared up some cap space. Um, I don't know how much exactly. I think, well, including the restructure, it was like $12 million, maybe something like that. But I figured, you know, i just quickly let you guys know that as the GM, you know, I was cooking up some cap space here. So, yeah, moving on back to free agency now. All right, so I have my offers set up and everything. So the people I'm targeting, number one, Patrick Queen. Gabe Davis, you know, we really need some help in the receiving core. And so, you know, I was thinking about T. Higgins, but the market for him, way too competitive, and he wants a lot more money. So I'm going to try and get Gabe Davis here. Connor Williams, you know, we need some offensive line help. Kaimi Fairbairn, you know, I just released our last kicker because he was making too much money and he was a pretty low overall, so I figured, you know, we needed a kicker, you know, pretty obviously, so going after him. Jonah Jackson, we really need some help on the offensive line, so we're getting him as well, hopefully. And then Devin DuVernay, just in case we're not able to get Gabe Davis, you know, Devin DuVernay at 75 overall, he would be our number two receiver, and he also has star dev, and he's 26, so yeah. So, yeah, these are all the offers I made. I'm going to now evaluate offers and see who we are able to get. All right, so most of mostly everyone is gone except for Kaimi Fairbairn and Devin Duvernay. So let's see, who did we get? We got Connor Williams and Jonah Jackson. Oh, my gosh. Well, we got the offensive line help we needed, but we missed out on a lot of good players there. Patrick Queen and Gabe Davis. Who's the other one? Wait, wait, was there another one? Because, okay, th there was not another one. I don't know what I was thinking there. But, yeah, I'm going to go look through free agency and see if there's any other people that we can sign to fill the needs that we missed out on in stage one. And so we are making our first trade here, sending Terrence Marshall Jr. to the Bears in exchange for a fourth-round pick. Now, Terrence Marshall Jr. is a guy I really liked, you know, coming out of the draft a couple years ago, but... I just didn't really see him getting many opportunities, you know, this next and, you know, future seasons. I don't really think he's going to have a role in our offense because I'm planning to bring in some more wide receivers. So, you know, I figured, you know, send him to another team where he'll actually get a chance. And in return, we get a fourth round pick. So, yeah, we make a trade there. And, you know, now we're going to go back to free agency. All right. So with that trade now done, I have my offers set for the next evaluation period. We're going after Kaimi Fairbairn still, now Devin White, Curtis Samuel as well because he was the highest rated receiver and we really need a receiver so I'm going after him as well as Devin DuVernay. So I'm going to evaluate offers here and see who we are able to get here in stage two. We get Curtis Samuel and Devin DuVernay. Devin White decides to walk so we miss out on two linebackers. Very unfortunate but we get some wide receiver help. As very much needed we have so far four offensive free agents signed no defensive ones hopefully we can get one here in the last evaluation period so after spending a lot of time looking through the free agents i decided there's really not anyone else i want besides you know a linebacker so i figured you know what let's try and bring bring i can't even talk bring back frankie luvu and then kaimi fairbairn just accept the offer man all right so we're gonna evaluate offers here let's see frank oh my gosh now it's gonna be even harder but we get kaimi fairbairn so frankie luvu man come on just just come back you know i'll offer 5.5 on the salary and then 5.2 on the bonus come on you know you want to come back man. all right so we're the number one offer but can't evaluate, so I'm just going to sim a week and see if he comes back. 
Please come back, bro. We really need a middle linebacker. I know we have Shaq Thompson who comes back from injury. But, you know, it'd be nice to have another one because we are in a 3-4. So two linebackers is key. We could also put Jeremy Chen at linebacker if that's really needed. But did we get him? <sighs> we did not. I guess no linebackers want to come to Carolina, bro. This is this is insane. All right, Jordan Brooks. Come on, bro. We're also going after Jeff Akuda as well. So, But let's see if we can finally get a linebacker here. Jordan Brooks, come on. Okay, so we finally get a linebacker. We signed Jordan Brooks there. Let's see. Can we get Jeff Akuda as well? Get a corner. All right, so we get Jeff Akuda as well. So, yeah, this is our free agency class. You know, headlined Connor Williams. Got a new center. Kaimi Fairbairn, new kicker. Curtis Samuel, Jordan Brooks, Jeff Akuda. Jonah Jackson, Devin Duvernay. That is our free agency class. Now, just looking around the league, so Tyron Smith, he went to the Lions. Legereus Need, he went to division rival Broncos. So the Broncos have PS2 and Legereus Need. That is going to be a scary team to pass against. They also have Justin Simmons. Oh my gosh, that's going to be tough. Trent Brown, he goes to the Rams. T. Higgins goes to the Patriots. Stephon Gilmore goes to the Rams as well. Shadobi Awuzie, I think that's how you say his name. He goes down to the Texans. Patrick Queen should have came to us. He goes to the Raiders. Michael Pierce goes back to the Vikings. Okay. Kenny Moore, he also goes to the Texans. So the Texans just got two corners. All right. And Gabe Davis also should have came to our team. Go to the Lions. Kyle Duggar to the Bengals. And I'm just going to go through the rest really quick. Because the Texans made a lot of signings. Wow. As well as the Lions, wow. A lot of signings for them. But, um, oh, Baker Mayfield to the Raiders as well as Isaiah Wynn. I did think about going after Isaiah Wynn, but he wanted too much money, so decided not to. But, yeah, we are going to move on to the draft now unless I see anyone that I really want to pick here in free agency. Then I'll go after him and show you guys. But without further ado, we're going to go on to the draft. All right, so we're here on draft day. As you guys know, we do not pick until the first pick of the second round. So, yeah, I'm just curious. Who are the Bears going to take? So they take Marvin Harrison Jr. All right, will Caleb Williams go to Washington? No, he go. <sighs> okay, well, I guess he's not going there. All right, let's see. Will he go to the Patriots? Oh, my gosh, dude. What is going on? Oh my, who is, what, what? Like, what is going on here, bro? Watch the Chargers take him. Chop Robinson, okay. What is going on here, guys? Okay, Caleb Williams finally gets taken by the Giants there. I was just curious, so, yeah, I don't believe I'm gonna trade up. I mean, I guess I could. I'll think about it. It's just, I'll see who's on the board if I trade up. You guys will see that. If not, you guys will see who I'm taking with my selection. All right, so we are officially on the clock and just looking at who's available, like, this is insane. Like, all these people being available here on, you know, the first pick of the second round. I already know who I'm going to take, but just like, wow, a lot of these people you would think would have gotten taken already. But yeah, I know who I'm going to take. I was considering a lot of people and the guy I really wanted got taken, which is unfortunate. And I was also thinking about Blake Corum. Like, if I traded down, you know, I was thinking about him. But the guy I'm going to be taking here is none other than Mason Smith. He is a defensive tackle in real life, so I'm not going to adjust his position since we're in a 3-4. So, yeah, this is going to be our first pick here in this draft. We are going to be taking defensive tackle in Madden terms, right end, Mason Smith. And he is hidden dev, so... Yes, I can draft. So, yeah, moving on to the third round now. So, I did decide to trade back with our third round pick, trading back a couple spots with the Falcons. So, we get a sixth round pick. And so, yeah, we're going to go to our sixth round, or not our sixth round, our now later third round pick now. And so, now here in the third round, you know, like I said at the beginning of the video, we want to build around Bryce Young. And that is exactly what we are doing here. Picking up tight end Dallin Holker, I think that's how you say his name, out of Colorado State. And he's not a hidden, unfortunately, so 
Maybe I can draft. Now here in the fourth round, we are looking at a prospect who is projected to be a undrafted free agent. However, we're taking a chance on him here with our first pick in the fourth round. We are taking edge rusher Gabriel Murphy. Yep, a non, another non-hidden. Maybe I can't draft. Maybe that's what it is. And here we are with our second pick in the fourth round. You know, looking for that diamond in the rough. We're looking at another undrafted free agent projected player. We're taking defensive tackle McKinley Jackson here. Yeah, and that's, what is that, three non-hiddens in a row? It's not like a non-hidden just means they're bad, but like, usually I get a lot more hiddens than this. Maybe I'm not cooking today. Now here, entering the fifth round, we are going to be taking cornerback Miles Jones out of Duke. Another non-hidden. I just realized he's 25 years old. Wow. He's also 6'4", so that's awesome. We're out here again looking for that diamond in the rough here in the fifth round with the 31st pick. We are taking running back Ray Davis out of Kentucky. Yeah, I've had one hit in this whole draft. You know, I know we did sign Jordan Brooks, but this guy, Jalen Ford, his ratings are just too tempting. So here in the sixth round, we are going to be taking linebacker Jalen Ford out of Texas University. Wow, another non-hidden shocker. And so here with our last pick here in the sixth round, pick 23, we are going to be taking Justin Eboyajib. I honestly don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm going to look it up, you know, so I know for future videos. But yeah, we're going to be taking him. I looked online and apparently he plays basically everything along the defense line. So he can play edge, he can play interior. So that versatility is going to be amazing for us. So he is going to be our last pick, and we're going to move on to the draft recap now. And as expected, he's not a hidden. So yeah, let's move on to the draft recap. I'm honestly too nervous to look at this draft recap, but you know what? Uh, here goes nothing. So, oh my gosh. Okay, well, it's not the worst draft in the world, so... Mason Smith, 71 overall. Dalen Holker, 71 overall. So, you know, just keep in mind these ratings are not, like, very high just, like, throughout the entire draft. So, you know, we do have to develop and everything. So, yeah, this is honestly a lot lower than I was expecting for all of these ratings. But you know what? I'm not going to complain. You know, we got some development out developmental opportunities and yeah this is just what our draft class is looking like overall um yeah i'm gonna go around the league really quick here and see just like how things turned out for the rest of the league so yeah like i said you know the ratings are not like insanely high because you know you still gotta develop and everything so you know obviously the highest rated player is going to be joe all at 79 instead of Marvin Harrison so that's you know that's pretty interesting but yeah those are what the ratings are looking like I'm just gonna go through the first round really quick so you guys can see who went where at what pick um just going through it really quick um yeah so what well, Michael Penix to the Colts I just stopped randomly and I saw that okay that's pretty interesting so Okay, well, yeah, now I'm going to move on and we're going to look at what the roster is looking like before the season. So I was just looking at free agency really quick and I noticed J.K. Dobbins was still a free agent and I love J.K. Dobbins, man. So we're going to be signing him before the season. So just figured I'd show you guys that. But now we're going to go over the roster. All right, so just looking at our team before the season, you know, we do still have some people out with injuries like Connor Williams, for example. So, just quick glance over what the roster is looking like. I'll show you guys again after the preseason. So, just quickly, we are currently a 79 overall offensive wise. So, yeah, this is what the offense is looking like. I'm going to go more in depth after the preseason. So, just quick glance here. Defensive wise, we are an 81 overall. I did sign Kavlon Chase on just because you know we kind of needed another edge rusher and he was the best one available from what i checked and i honestly only checked two spots so i saw him decided to pick him up 
But yeah, you know, we still have guys out with injury, you know, Shaq Thompson. So this is what the roster is looking like. I'm going to sim through the preseason really quick and then we'll get started with like the actual in-depth roster thing. Yeah. All right. Well, I thought Connor Williams would be ready for week one, but I was wrong. He's still out until week two or three. I don't, It was one of the two. Anyways, I picked up this guy, Mason Wake, off of the 49ers practice squad of all teams. He's a fullback, and he's a rookie, so and we needed a fullback, so I figured I'd bring him in. But, um, yeah, so before we get started with the season, this is what the offense is looking like. You know, we got Bryce Young heading into year number two with an improved receiving core as well as an improved offensive line. Um, You know, with Connor Williams soon to be in here. Um, you know, this is a chance for Bryce Young to really prove himself here in this offense. You know, we got the Bucks OC in here. So this is really his chance to prove himself here in this offense and in this league in general. So, yeah, this is what this offense is looking like. And then, you know, I already I know I already went over like the offense and defense, but just doing it again. Um, this is what the defense is looking like here. You know, it is an 81 overall, so it's two points higher than the offense and now we have Shaq Thompson in here. This defense, you know, it's not obviously it's not the best and it is still very young, so you know, we're still trying to develop and you know get better and you know maybe we'll make some improvements during the season, but most definitely in the off season. So yeah, this is what this defense is looking like before we head into this season. And so in week one, we are going to be taking on the Atlanta Falcons. However, that is going to be saved for episode number two. So yeah, that was the off season, you know, just getting everything ready here in episode one. Episode two, we will actually start playing the game. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, you guys can feel free to go check out my other content. I have a ton of playlists on my page with Madden stuff, 2K stuff, and just a variety of other content. If you guys are interested, feel free to go check that out. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching all the way into the end. I really appreciate that. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all next time.